in the early days we didn't have a marketing strategy <laughs> it was just picking up work as such and what we found was that the, the best way was going out and talking to clients so particularly our business clients uh, initially just going out and talking to clients and listening to their problems was generating ample work for just me as a whole to do but as we grow, grew larger in the business advisory we recognised that we needed more work from both internally from the other partners and also externally from outside the practice. That sort of led more into the need for a marketing strategy. What we realised up front was that we, we weren't a large firm, we didn't need to get out there with flashing lights out there. Um, you know, it could have brought in work we couldn't have handled. So we uh, continued the, you know, the old age of referral. Referral still brings in most of our clients, so a happy client, uh, by talking to them and saying, you know, have you got another client who would benefit from our services, because we're looking for clients just like you, and quite often we'd get good referrals and introductions, and they're really valuable because they came with the referral of someone they trusted. So it was a good start in that trusted advisor relationship. We also then moved into a more formal approach and, and the first way we started doing it was um, putting together a, a course which we labelled a, a mini MBA. And it was a course that we put together which ran over, uh, uh, and it could be tailored, generally it's a day course, but it could be brought down to a very abbreviated half day, but generally we ran it as a day course. We looked to get about uh, 10 to 12 people maximum attending that. And we'd invite that from clients and also ask clients to invite someone else they thought would benefit from it. And the, the course was very much about cost, uh, volume, profit analysis, making people understand the different types of costs in their business, where their break-even points are, what were their sustainable growth rates, how could they go about improving the profit in their business, very hands-on, what I'd call fairly basic management accounting material, and financial accounting material. And that was really, really useful. Uh, I'd say out of 10 or 12 people who attended each course, we'd probably get uh, three or four people we'd immediately get some work from. I then moved into doing a number of white papers, and two recent ones I've done was one was on succession estate planning, because we do a lot of work in that area. And we've done recently a, a further one on uh, family governance, because many of our larger clients are looking at this question of introducing how can family governance improve the structure relationship between the family. And both of those have been very successful in generating more work as well. We've done others in areas like costing, uh, you know, a whole pile of areas, but they've been really useful tools of getting out there, not only to our clients, but sending them out to other people as well. Um, it now comes mainly from referral, uh, particularly solicitors, uh, a lot of legal valuations. We get a lot of work from solicitors. Uh, some of the expert witness work, uh, well, most of that comes from solicitors. We have a number of banks referring clients to us, and mainly client, client referral.